There are probably two trends. One trend is the startup community which is picking up on new ideas and developing new ideas. But we underestimate what you just mentioned, another development, which is digitalization of traditional industry. A traditional industry, whether from small businesses, I don't know, local restaurant, uh, cafe, uh, I don't need hairdressers, but hairdressers, whoever else, they, are, uh, they need to use some digital tools to advertise their services. And we are finding uh, one major problem in Europe, that small businesses are out of the digital field. Therefore, that will be the major challenge. Uh, I don't know what is the situation in Poland, but I know in Switzerland, in most European countries, small businesses are not yet there. They need to uh, use digital more in order to survive. That will be probably, in my, in my view, the, the major challenge. Startups are fine. They will find their own way. They may be more dynamic, less dynamic. But the challenge to bring the old businesses into the digital field will be the major challenge. And how to do it? Well, uh, uh, there, are, there is a generational gap. Usually the owners of the small businesses tend to be from the, from the, from the older generation. But uh, what governments can do, where public authorities, is to do a bit of hand-holding, to help them to do accounting, to create a website, to create a presence on the Facebook, uh, to explain them that it is not something which is beyond their reach, to provide the platforms. I think the public governmental role is essential to help these people to get into the digital era because if it doesn't happen we'll have a huge gap and the few recent political developments in Europe and the United States shown that people if they're left behind they tend to vote in the way which may not be considered to be let's say pro-digital pro way. I usually try to summarize it that there is a generation of the owners of this type of businesses who are too uh, old for digital and too young to die.